So one of the things you might want to do when you've got your done to 20.04 is set yourself a static IP. So if you've got the desktop environment all set up, you can just go up to here, your network connections, and then wired settings. And then here where you've got your settings for your wired, you can go in and set your IPv4 settings. Which is great, but if you're running a server or something, you might want to do this from a terminal. First thing we need to do is get our interface names. So we can do that using the uh, IP command. So if you do IP link, you'll get the uh, interfaces you have. So the one I want to set the static IP for is EMP0S3. You get different names depending on what interfaces are available. So that's first thing to know. Next thing is we need to go into the configuration files. Ubuntu uses cloud init. Uh, you also have NetPlan. So the next thing we need to do is go in to the configuration file. So if we uh, go into the directory, which is itsy NetPlan, if we show what's in there, you'll see one file. So sometimes this is called 01 Network Manager All. Sometimes this will be called 50 Cloud Init. All depends on whether you're going from a desktop or coming from the server. But that file in this directory is the one you want. They apply in order, so from 01 through to 99. So 0, 01 would apply first, and then 0, 02, etc. So you can set up different interfaces in different ways down that list if if that's what you want to do. Anyway, let's um let's edit this file. And you'll see at the moment it's network version 2. You know, there's no settings in here really. Now this file is YAML, so in YAML the indents from the left hand side are done using two spaces. They're not tabs, tabs won't work, it won't render correctly. So just be aware of that. So in here, we need to set up our Ethernets, and then underneath this, we need our interface name. So ENP0S3, and then within this, we're gonna need to turn off the HTTP4. Uh, so we'll set that to false. And then we need to set an address. Uh, and it will expect a set of addresses, which are done in square brackets followed by its subnet length. You'll also need to give it a gateway, which is gateway four for an IPv4 network. And then also set some name servers. You don't set one, you set the addresses of the name servers. So it's sort of indented once again, and you can have a set, so you can have more than one. For instance, this would be mine. And then say we wanted to add Google's or Cloudflare's, and that's it. So you can write that out to a file, and then you need to apply this file for it to take effect. So you do that using sudo netplan apply. And then if we do IP address show, we should see that we now have down here our new IP address. Uh, and it's as simple as that.